In today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 things that anyone should know before they get Enlar guppies. Now, most people have probably kept common guppies at one point or another. Enlars are pretty similar, except that they're more of a wild version of a guppy, and they're a lot more hardier. Starting off with number one, Enlars, just like guppies, breed super fast, and I'm not even kidding, like, you could expect new babies every one or two months. They are insanely fast breeders. I usually like to keep the babies in the same tank as the adults with lots of hiding spaces. Now, the reason I do this is so that only the strongest few fry would be able to survive instead of just having all of them survive because having the strongest survive means that you will have the best genes for the future generations. You could just raise the fry in a separate tank or breeder box, but then the genes might not be as strong because you just let everyone survive. Also, there might be a lot of inbreeding, but both ways work well. Number two. Endlers come in a wide variety of colors. There is Blue Star Endlers, Tiger Endlers, Classical Endlers, lots to choose from and many great options out there. There's really not a variety that's better over the other, it's just your personal preference on how they look like. In fact, a lot of people including myself have bred their own strain of Endlers. That's definitely something that you could consider doing as it's pretty fun and it's also really easy. It's not hard at all, all you need is many different types of Endlers, you put them together and they will naturally breed with each other. What this creates is a completely new variety and if you breed those together again, over time you're gonna have your own new strain. Number three, Endlers are very peaceful fish. Honestly, I can't think of many fish that are more peaceful than Endlers. They really are very, very peaceful. They're not going to fight with other fish. You could keep them with most other nano fish and tetras. They're not really going to be a problem. What you do need to worry about is if the fish are too big, such as some bigger types of cichlids, because tank mates aren't really a problem. Just make sure that they're not going to be prey themselves. But yeah, they're a really peaceful fish and they go great with just about anyone. Number 4. Endlers need plenty of space. Although they seem small, I would not recommend keeping them in any tank under 10 gallons. Now, it also depends on how many endlers you have, like if you're only keeping 3 or 4 then maybe 5 gallons would be okay, but any more than that, 10 gallons is the bare minimum. You could keep up to 12 in a 10 gallon I'd say, any more than that you're gonna need bigger tanks. So they do prefer the larger tank size, speaking of their tank size, I would highly recommend adding live plants as they do enjoy living in an environment that is similar to nature. Number 5. Endler guppies are extremely hardy. You might have heard that guppies are very hardy. Well, nowadays they aren't that hardy because there has been lots of inbreeding over the past few decades. They're just not as hardy as they used to be. But Endler guppies are a much more wild version of the guppy. They were introduced a lot later and weren't inbred as much. So much of the colors you see on Endlers are their original colors. It also means that the Endlers are a lot more hardy because they've barely been inbred. This makes them a fantastic beginner fish. A lot of people, especially beginners, when they're looking for a first fish to keep, usually they don't want a fish that's too difficult. So I think endlers are a perfect choice for that. They're small, versatile, colorful, they're hardy, pretty much the ultimate beginner fish choice. In my experience, they're one of the hardiest fish ever, probably only behind the harlequin rasboras, which I think are the hardiest fish. They're not very sensitive to the water parameters like the pH or temperature. They'll do good in a pH range of anywhere from 6.5 to 8.0 and a temperature of 70 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 22 to 28 degrees Celsius. Number 6. Endlers stay very small. So they're actually even smaller than guppies. I don't know if that's because guppies have been inbred and they've just naturally gotten bigger or that endlers are wild. but. They're just smaller than guppies. Male endlers only grow to around an inch and females get to around 2 inches, which is actually considerably smaller than guppies. But yeah, they stay pretty small. They're very nice nano fish. Like I said before, the only thing you need to worry about is them reproducing too much. Other than that, the adults stay small and they're a great choice for nano tanks. Number 7. Endlers can interbreed with common guppies. This is because they belong to the same genus, which is Basilia and they also share very similar genetic makeup. Because they're so similar, it's really easy to create hybrids when you breed these two together, and by hybrid, I mean mating a guppy with an endler. So for example, you have a male endler and a female guppy. Those offspring will be endler-guppy hybrids. I've actually bred these two before. I had a male endler with a female guppy, and it was 
actually really interesting. It created an entire new colony of hybrids, and for me at the time, it was really cool. Number 8. Keep 2-3 to three females per male. The reason for this is because females will easily get tired from the males chasing them around because the males will be constantly chasing around females to try and get them to breed. Endlers are live bearers, which means they bear live young. I guess that makes them want to reproduce more, but a good rule of thumb is to add two to three females per male. What this does is the males will take turns breeding with different females, and it gives the females sort of like a little break and it doesn't make them too stressed. Number 9. Keep them in a slightly warmer temperature, and by that I mean a temperature of at least 77 degrees Fahrenheit up to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the reason I say this is because endlers are tropical fish, just like guppies and other live bears, and they do prefer the slightly higher temperatures, it does encourage them to breed more, you'll see a lot more activity, they're gonna eat more, it also increases their metabolism, and they just get a lot more healthier overall. While they can have cold water, I just never recommend it. It's always best to add a heater and keep it around the temperature to keep your endlers really happy. And finally, now we're at number 10, which is to not overfeed your endlers. Unfortunately, I see this a lot, but so many people just overfeed their fish. In my experience, endlers could eat a massive amount of food if given the chance. What usually happens when endlers overeat is they end up either dying or getting a disease. My best advice for this is to feed your endlers in small amounts, so two to three small servings per day and they will do just fine. For a lot of beginners, it can be tempting to just keep feeding them when you see the fish eating all the food, but just know that it's not good for the health, so a little bit of food a few times a day, they're not gonna have any problems. Before I end this video, I want to give you all a bonus tip, which is to buy good quality endlers. A lot of you may be thinking, well, yeah, of course, but this is actually harder than you might think. Generally, you want to look for endlers that are free of any diseases, so identify the common diseases that endlers have, such as internal parasites, dropsy, stuff like that. And the big thing here is to actually make sure that the fish you are buying are actually endlers. A lot of fish stores, they can't even identify endlers and guppies. They're just gonna put them as endlers if they're not too sure about it. But make sure to do your research, which I assume you all are doing since you're watching this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. Feel free to join our growing Discord server. It's completely free. Link is down in the comments. Thanks guys. See you in the next one.